Hello, uh, my name is James LeBreton. Uh, I'm very excited to be serving as the Karma instructor for the short course entitled Introduction to Multi-Level Analysis. Uh, I am especially excited to be returning to uh, teaching this course in person. Um, we've taken several years off from the in-person uh, uh, modality of teaching and um, while the online version has gone well, um, I like being around people, so I'm excited to be in the classroom with people and be able to work closely with you um, on your projects and teach you about um, multi-level research. Um, so I just want to take a few minutes, give you a little bit um, of uh, background about me and tell you a little about the course I'm going to be teaching. Uh, I'm currently a professor of psychology and social data analytics at Penn State University. Um, before I came to Penn State, uh, I held appointments at Purdue University and at Wayne State University. Uh, in terms of my kind of educational background, um, I earned my PhD in 2002 from the Department of Management at the University of Tennessee. Um, and at that same time, I earned my minor from the Department of Statistics. Um, since then, I've published a number of different articles related to um, multi-level measurement and multi-level analysis. Um, I also served as the co-editor for APA's Handbook of Multi-Level Theory, Measurement and Analysis, which was published back in 2019. Um, for the last 20 years, I've offered uh, semester-long doctoral seminars at my various institutions, uh, focused on um, the seminars have focused on multi-level modeling or multi-level theory and analysis. Uh, and for the last 15 years, um, I've taught um, as a short course instructor for Karma, and I've taught both the introductory uh, courses and the more advanced um, courses related to multi-level analysis. Um, this year, I'll be teaching the Introduction to Multi-Level Analysis course. So this course really um, is designed to emphasize kind of both the theoretical foundations of multi-level research but also to equip students with the practical tools and skills that they need to conduct um, you know, what I would consider pretty basic multi-level analyses, um, two-level sorts of nested models. So in this class, um, we really will emphasize kind of the traditional hierarchically nested data structures as opposed to the temporally uh, nested data structures. So with hierarchically nested data structures, we're looking at things like um, employees who are nested within different work teams, um, soldiers who might be nested in different platoons, um, kids that might be nested in different classrooms, uh, classrooms that might be nested in different schools, um, those kinds of data structures. Um, the course is divided into several parts. Uh, the first part of the course covers topics related to multi-level theory. So in the first part, we'll be discussing things like multi-level constructs, um, different principles that are um, important to be thinking about when developing multi-level theory. Um, we'll focus on topics like emergence, uh, drawing cross-level inferences, and um, different types of cross-level biases that exist. Uh, the second part of the course covers topics related to multi-level measurement. Um, so here we'll be transitioning um, and kind of building off of the ideas that we talked about in the first part of the course. And we'll be talking about what would the different measurement models look like for different um, processes of emergence. Um, how do we go about aggregating data from a lower level, like an individual's perception of their work environment, to say a team or organizational level, like a team climate or an organizational climate score. And we'll also be talking about how to use statistics like RWG or the intraclass correlation to help justify um, those data aggregation processes. Um, and then the last part of the course, um, we transition to kind of data analysis. We go from theory to measurement and we conclude with analysis. And here we're going to be focused on specifying and testing um, relatively simple two level models. So again, employees and teams, soldiers and platoons, kids nested in classrooms. Um, so within this kind of final part, we'll be talking about um, multi-level regression, um, sometimes referred to as random coefficient regression or hierarchical linear modeling or mixed effects modeling. Um, we will be emphasizing the R statistical package uh, throughout the short course. 
Um, I would also encourage you to bring your own data sets or your own research questions that you have with you. Um, you know, usually there's time outside of class um, where I can kind of sit down and chat with students if they've got you know, specific questions or unique questions related to their um, projects or to help them try to troubleshoot um, code that they might be having problems running in R for their specific projects. Um, you know, the course is targeted at um, faculty and graduate students who have got some familiarity with like traditional uh, OLS regression, um, general linear model, that, those kinds of um, analytic uh, tools, but they may have very little, if any, um, expertise and background related to um, multi-level regression. So um, that's kind of the overview of the class. Um, I look forward to seeing you there um, uh, in person. Uh, and um, if you haven't already, be sure to download R and R Studio because those are the software programs we will be using in this class. Thanks so much.